This is Celebrity Gossip. Welcome once more viewers. Don't forget to subscribe to get notify each time we post. Queen Elizabeth despises Prince Harry and praises Prince Charles and Prince William for honoring Prince Philip efforts. Queen Elizabeth is said to have insulted her grandson, Prince Harry, in a message sent to her mental conference. We don't know which of the grandsons is the Queen favorite. It like the Queen don't favor any of them. On Wednesday, the sitting British monarch sent a message to the 15th Lambeth Congress, recognized as the gathering of Anglican bishops, held at Lambeth Palace in London, where they prayed and reflected on world affairs. This year's theme is God's Church for the World of God Walking Together, Listening, and Testifying. In his message, 96-year-old said that local meteorological exchange was a life and a life, where many people and communities threaten life and living, especially the poorest people, and they are very adaptable. I can't adapt. In the past, I was involved in the analysis of the central part of the Lambit Parity program's attention, and I was involved in the analysis of the themes of the surrounding Prince of Wales and Duke Cambridge, said Prince Philip. The Queen said, like Prince Charles and Prince William. Through my life, Christ's message and teaching are my information, and I found hope, she shared. It is my sincere prayer that you will continue to be supported by confidence in times of trial and hope in times of despair. Without quoting Harry, Elizabeth wrote in her message, I wish you a fruitful meeting. God bless your ministry and his career in the world. On July 18th, Harry gave a speech at the United Nations in New York in honor of Nelson's Mandela Day. In his speech at the General Assembly, the 37-year-old said the world was at a tipping point as it faced crises such as the coronavirus pandemic, shared local weather and the conflict in Ukraine. He explained how local alternative weather once wreaked havoc on our planet and advised world leaders to act now and save humanity. Did we have an obligation to give the world more? if not more than we receive," he said. Find our common ground, give everyone a chance to rebuild democracy, and use the light of Mandela's memory to light the way forward. This isn't the first time Elizabeth has highlighted her family's passion for her environment, other than raising Harry. In November 2021, the Queen will record a message for the COP26 summit in Scotland, in which she said, I would like to encourage people to play the major role my husband has played and to protect our fragile planet. I find great satisfaction in continuing to live through this world, the work of my eldest son Charles and my eldest son William. Now I shouldn't be proud of them," added Elizabeth. Then, in December, during her annual Christmas speech, Elizabeth said she was proud in the past that Philip's conservation efforts were supported and enhanced with the help of our eldest sons Charles and William. There are. Please support with Camille and Catherine. Perhaps because the prince and his wife Meghan Markle are returning as senior members of the royal family in 2020, the queen didn't mention Harry in her statement. California. With my two children. In April of this year, during the Invictus Games in Holland, Harry informed Hoda Kotb of a personal visit to his grandmother at Windsor Castle she was great to have with her once, he told the Today host. It used to be very classy to see her. She's in great shape. She has always had a good sense of humor with me. We have a really unique relationship, said Harry. We're talking about her not being able to talk to anyone. In my view, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the closing ceremony noticed the Queen in her June of her Jubilee Platinum to mark the monarch's 70th anniversary of accession to the throne. During her visit, the Queen met her great-grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. Over the years, Harry, like his family, has been vocal about climate change in the region. In January, Charles praised his son's work in a Newsweek article on local weather issues. As a father, I am proud that his sons are aware of this threat, the 73-year-old wrote. Most recently, my eldest son William launched the prestigious Earthshot Prize, which seeks to foster exchange and improve the planet over the next decade by discovering and investing in applied science that can make a difference. To help rebuild the and my young son Harry has dedicated his philanthropic efforts to keeping the internet at zero, passionately highlighting the impacts of climate change in regions particularly relevant to Africa.